Hi, Mark here, Managing Director of All My Systems. So if you use Salesforce, why should you consider Dynamics 365 from Microsoft? Well, there's a couple of reasons really, and what is that? Salesforce is a great tool. It's been a system that's been around for a long time. It was the first CRM to go cloud-based, and traditionally it's been Microsoft Dynamics 365, or CRM it was originally known, it's been their biggest competitor, and they're both great CRM systems. We only work with Dynamics 365, that's a choice to help us grow our business and help other businesses out there to grow as well. And what we believe is that when you're with the Microsoft Dynamics 365 platform, you've got the integration natively with all the Office applications, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Skype for Business, all of the great things out there, along with the big one, Outlook. And the Outlook integration is second to none. No one else can compete with it because it's within the Microsoft space. And so when you want to look at factors like that and, and all of those systems that are Microsoft based that are already in your business, it makes more sense to stick with what you know, where the business solution that's been tried and tested is now cloud based and affordable and the different price points, uh, depending on what you want to do with the system. Now with a Microsoft product, uh, they are, the model is that they use value added resellers to, to push it out to market, such as ourselves. And it's our job to make sure that we really understand your requirements and what you want the system to do both now and in the future as your business grows and changes and expands with more people in it, let's say. That might be sales pipeline functionality, it might be customer service requirements, project management needs or field service needs. Perhaps you want to put some kind of client portal in there so people can log in and um, have access to their restricted information that you give them the different permissions to see. A whole range of functionality. And so Microsoft Dynamics is really, really a key player for people who want a system that integrates with Microsoft applications they already use, who want a cloud-based system to move away from things that are on their servers, and who want to make sure that they can have really clever, neat things in there like automation of processes, workflows to help guide people through the ways that they should use the system and the screens, drag and drop create, um, ability to be able to manage their pipeline visually. These are all key things that are part of Microsoft Dynamics when you get a system from all my systems. I hope that's been useful and gives you a bit of an honest comparison between the two. The key thing to remember with the CRM system is it's only as good as how it's been implemented, trained on and supported. I often say to everybody I meet, a system that is implemented in one business, the same system in another business, one might be successful, one might be a complete and utter failure. Usually the reason is down to buy-in from the, the management team and also the fact that the requirements gathering, the actual build process hasn't been handled well because CRM is about change management and making sure that everyone in the business understands why we're going through this process, they feel included in the process, and they're actually adopting the system right from the go live onwards. And that's why a CRM system in one company can be a complete success and the other company could be a disaster. And that's the key difference. All my systems work with companies on this change management journey to make sure CRM is thought of as, as a strategic tool to help grow the business and make it more effective in the future. I hope that's been useful and thanks for listening.